Hello there you guys, welcome to one of my videos. Going to be giving you my predictions for the Tottenham Manchester United game at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. So score prediction, I'm going to go with 2-1 to Manchester United. The goal scorers for Manchester United, I'm going to go with Cristiano Ronaldo and Bruno Fernandes. And the goal scorer for Tottenham, I'm going to go with Human Son. So that is your predictions. I will be giving you my predicted 11 for the game sometime tomorrow. Now it's already been confirmed that Solskjaer will be in charge for the game against Tottenham. It could be Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's last game as Manchester United manager. Defeat to Tottenham should sack Solskjaer. It's said today that Solskjaer could be in his final week as Man United boss as pressure mounts. The Mirror recently said that Man United have given Solskjaer three games to save his Man United job. Sky Sports News said yesterday that Solskjaer is expected to stay in charge of Man United for now, despite the 5-0 defeat to Liverpool last Sunday. Like updated you on my last video, Manchester United will have to pay Ole Gunnar Solskjaer £7.5 million if they decide to sack him. Because obviously in the summer, Solskjaer signed a new contract with the club <clears throat> until 2024. There's an option of a further year and we made a mistake giving him that contract. Manchester United have to bounce back from the 5-0 defeat to Liverpool. That defeat to Liverpool was embarrassing from a Manchester United perspective. It was Liverpool's biggest ever win at Old Trafford. And Manchester United were 4-0 down at half-time. It was the first time ever that Manchester United had been 4-0 down at Old Trafford at half-time. And fans were leaving the ground at half-time. And more fans were leaving when the fifth goal went in. But yeah, it was an unacceptable performance by Man United. After the game, Solskjaer refused to resign. And Solskjaer said it was his darkest day as a manager. Manchester United are now winless in their last four league games. The last league game we won was away to West Ham 2-1. At the moment, Manchester United are what seventh in the league after nine games. That's nowhere near good enough to our standards. Varane, he's close to returning. So that's good news from a Man United perspective. Uh, Varane has been out with a groin injury. Do you think he could be involved in the game against Tottenham on Saturday? Uh, well, Solskjaer will give us an update on Varane, I presume, in his press conference. He'll be doing his press conference on Friday. <laughs> and, uh, Martial... 
I'm hearing that he's close to returning because he's been out of injury, but Martial doesn't really get in our team anyway. Uh, Paul Pogba won't be playing against Tottenham because Pogba has got a free match ban. Because Paul Pogba got sent off in Manchester United's 5-0 defeat to Liverpool. Pogba got sent off for that two-footed challenge on Naby Keita. Pogba didn't start against Liverpool. I heavily criticised Solskjaer for not starting Pogba against Liverpool because I thought Solskjaer should have started him. Now, I've just given you the news on Paul Pogba. Uh, Mark Ogden has come out and said that Manchester United are prepared to lose Pogba for nothing next summer. after accepting that the midfielder will not sign a new contract. Don't forget, um, Pogba rubbishes report for Solskjaer, because it recently said that Pogba snubbed Solskjaer after the Liverpool defeat. And <laughs> contract talks come to a hold. Now, Tottenham, they beat Burnley tonight in the Cowbell Cup. 1-0. Tottenham lost last weekend to West Ham 1-0. Tottenham are sitting sixths in the Premier League at the moment. Tottenham's manager is Nuno Santo. He's on thin ice, just like Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is at Manchester United. Tottenham appointed Nuno Santo in in the summer. He's got a contract with Tottenham until 2023. I thought Nuno Santo did very well when he was Wolves manager. He enjoyed four years at Wolves. But yeah, uh, when he was at Wolves, he got Wolves to two seventh-placed finishes. He also got Wolves up to the Premier League from the Championship. And he got Wolves to the FA Cup semi-final for the first time in 21 years. Nuno Santo left Wolves at the end of last season. Before Nuno Santo, Tottenham had Jose Mourinho. Uh, the Sats Jose Mourinho last season. And before Mourinho, Tottenham had Mauricio Potocino. I think Tottenham made a mistake sacking Potocino because I thought Potocino was a good manager for them even though he didn't win anything. Potocino endured a five and a half year tenure at Tottenham. Analysing the vast majority of his tenure, Tottenham were competing in and out of the top four and in 2018, Potocino guided Tottenham to their first ever Champions League final. Potocino is now PSG manager. Uh, 
Uh, by the way, Potticino is still Man United's number one choice if Man United decide to sack Solskjaer. Potticino is highly rated by Alex Ferguson. One time, Potticino was in talks with Man United. That's when he was managerless. Uh, Tottenham, they've got some very good players. Um, obviously, one of Tottenham's key players is Human Son. He'll be in contention to play in this game. Um, another one of Tottenham's key players is Lucas Mora. I think he'll be involved in this game. Uh, Steven Bergwijn, I've got to make an admission say, yeah, he's made an impact at Tottenham. I think he'll be involved in this game as well. Uh, obviously, Tottenham have got Harry Kane. Yeah, I can assure he'll be playing in this game. Harry Kane has been a very long-serving player at Tottenham. He's been with them 17 years. So he's remained loyal to them for such a long time. He's got a contract with Tottenham until 2024 because back in 2018 he signed a six-year contract. Kane receives around £200,000 a week at Spurs. Last season, Kane won the Golden Boot. Kane is regarded as one of the best strikers in the world. Uh at the end of last season, there was reports saying that Harry Kane put a transfer request in at Tottenham. And he wanted to leave. And there was quite a few clubs that made contact with his representatives. Man United were in for him. I think Tottenham were demanding at least £150 million. But Kane has said a few times that obviously he's unhappy at Tottenham because obviously he wants to win silverware and he's obviously not experiencing that at Spurs. Tottenham have also got Emerson, Royal, uh, they brought him in in the summer transfer window. Got him from Barcelona. Tottenham have also got Christian Romero. They got him in the summer transfer window. Tottenham also brought Pape Sarin. But they have loaned him out until the end of of the season. Uh, Tottenham also got Brian Gill in the summer transfer window. Uh, Tottenham have also got Tangai N. Dombele, uh, good player. I think Tottenham got him from Leon. I think he's Tottenham's most expensive signing or one of their most expensive signings. I think he'll be involved in this game. Uh, Tottenham have also got Giovanni Lo Celso as well. They've also got Harry Winks. They've got Deli Alley. You know, Deli Alley's a very, very good player. Uh, Tottenham have got quite a lot of defenders. Um, obviously, Tottenham have got Matt Doherty. Um, he's just come back from injury. Uh, they've got Sergio Regulon. Uh, they brought him in, was it, last year? Tottenham have got Heusberg. Tottenham have got Eric Dyer. They've got Ben Davis. They've got... Davinson Sanchez. I think Davinson Sanchez is a right back. Uh, Tottenham have also got Joe Roden. And they've got Ryan Sessignon. 
Uh, Ryan Sessegnon's a left back. Ryan Sessegnon's out with injury at the moment. Um, he's the only player I think Tottenham have got injured now. <laughs> so there you go. And Tottenham's first choice goalkeeper is Hugo Lloris. Uh, Tottenham let a few players go in this year's summer transfer window. They offloaded Serge Aurier. They offloaded Sissoko. They offloaded Danny Rose. Went to Watford him. They also offloaded Toby Alderweireld. Tottenham also offloaded Eric Lamella. Um, I think he went to Sevilla. So there you go, you know, and there's other players they've offloaded. Manchester United beat Tottenham in this fixture last season. Man United beat them 3 1. We come from behind because we was 1 0 down in the game. Tottenham beat us at Old Trafford last season 6 1. I think that was the first time Manchester United lost 6-1 at Old Trafford since the 6-1 defeat to Man City back in 2011. We've had some good games with Tottenham over the years. But the two classic ones were the 5-3 back in 2001. Manchester United overcame a three-goal deficit in that game. And the other one was the 5-2 back in 2009 against Tottenham. Manchester United overcame a two-goal deficit in that game. Man United have done transfer business with Tottenham before. You know, we got Michael Carrick off them a lot of years ago. And we also got Dimitar Berbatov off them. After Tottenham, Manchester United play Atalanta. And then after Atalanta, it's Manchester City. As you all know, there's been a lot of talks of Antonio Conte coming in to replace Solskjaer. Conte is the man for Man United, according to many Manchester United fans. Uh, reports from Italy said that Manchester United have made contact twice with Antonio Conte. Conte wants the Man United job. But the Man United board are not keen. It recently said that Conte has reservations about the club's structure. But I think if Conte came in, he'd get Manchester United back to that level where they should be at and he would suit the strappings of the club. Conte is a far superior manager, manager to Solskjaer because Conte has got a very good pedigree behind him. Won a lot of silverware in his home nation. Also, when he was in his first season at Chelsea, he won the Premier League. So he's managing the Premier League before. That's beneficial. And Conte is available because he left Inter Milan at the end of last season. <sighs> There's obviously some United fans that want Zinedine Zidane in as well, but I'm very sceptical we'll get Zinedine Zidane because reports from Spain recently said that Zinedine Zidane is not interested in becoming Manchester United manager. He said that Zinedine Zidane is enjoying life away from football management. Earlier on this season, reports from Spain said that Man United contacted Zidane 
because of the recommendation of Cristiano Ronaldo. Um, there's been talks of Brendan Rodgers possibly coming. You know, he's done really well at Leicester, transformed them. At Leicester, he's won the FA Cup and the Charity Shield so far. Not so long ago, Eric Ten Hag held talks with Manchester United. But yeah, um, in regards to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, he's got to go now. He's not good enough. Like I've said to you before, the expectations are far too high for Solskjaer to exceed as Man United manager. And Solskjaer's in a position that he shouldn't be in. Solskjaer will not win trophies as Manchester United manager. And Solskjaer just can't take this team any further. It's as simple as that. <laughs> and Solskjaer has run out of excuses. Because like I've said to you, Man United have got a title winning squad. So in reality, Man United should be winning the Premier League this season. But like I've said to you recently so many times, Man United are a team of individuals. They don't play as an actual team. You've got the likes of Liverpool, City and Chelsea and all of that. That play as a team. That's why they're in a much better position than Man United at this moment in time. You know, Solskjaer received very good backing in the summer transfer window, like I've said. You know, Murtaugh backed him, Fletcher backed him, Woodward backed him and the Glazers surprisingly backed him. And Man United enjoyed a very good summer transfer window this year. Made four signings and spent around £141 million. So there you go. So anyway right, guys, it's everything to update for today. Drop your comments, likes below the channel. If you do, consider subscribe as always and take care. God bless. See you all again very, very soon.